In this video, I'm going to fire up the ZTE Open running Firefox OS for the very first time. So let's get to it. So let me press the power button here. Get a little vibration. You see the Firefox OS splash screen and you have a red light up there. You have a Firefox there. And this is actually pretty cool. The tail is on fire and animated, as you probably can see. Yeah, you can see that. And here we go. There we go. So the first thing to do is set the language. Obviously, I'm speaking English, and English is selected already here. Let me see if I can... I cannot toggle that on or off. So maybe on this phone, since it was sold in the United States, English is the only option. Uh, let me hit next down here. Okay, in that last step, it wanted me to connect to my home wireless network. So I edited that out. The next step here is to pick my time zone. Now, I am on the eastern, on the east coast in the United States, so that would be the eastern time zone. So let's see what we got here for options. Okay. So I changed the first selection to America. So this is a little bit different than what I'm used to when I set up a time zone on a device. Uh, the next selection down here is to choose the area in America that you're at. So I don't know if it would have my exact city here. But if not, I'm going to use New York because that's East Coast. So why don't we just use New York here because that's the Eastern Time Zone. Select that, hit OK. Now we have America and New York. It looks like we have to set up the date next. And here we go. It is, there we go, September 5th, 2013 or 2013. And very similar to like an iPhone, how you kind of manipulate these uh, dates here. There we go. So that's cool. It actually knew the date. And that's the approximate time. Actually, that's the exact time, 7-11. Let's hit Next. And here it says, to import contacts, insert or unlock your SIM card and then you can import from Facebook as well. I'm going to skip that right now because um, I really don't have a lot of uh, people that I really know that I contact on a phone on my Facebook account. I don't really have a personal Facebook account and I don't have a SIM card yet for this device. So let's hit next and it says Firefox OS. Welcome to Firefox OS, the free and open source operating system from Mozilla. Our mission is to promote openness, innovation, and opportunity by keeping the power of the web in your hands. Now, if you don't know about Firefox OS, all the apps on this phone are written in HTML5. So there are no native apps per se that you would find on an Android phone or an iOS phone or even a Windows phone. And that's really kind of the future of apps, but we're not there yet. But that's why it's interesting to look at something like this device here, which only runs on HTML5 apps. Because the great thing about HTML5 apps is that you write it once and it will run anywhere, anywhere that has a web browser. So down here we have a little radio button that I can select. It says, I want to help improve Firefox OS by sharing data about my phone. Definitely I like to do that because I like to help out because especially something like Firefox OS, which is sort of a fledgling operating system, I want to help them out as much as possible. So let's hit next. And the next thing it says, when you use Firefox OS, you become part of a global community, helping to build a brighter future for the web. If you'd like to know more about the Mozilla community, our other projects and events near you, please enter your email address below. And then you have an option to learn how Mozilla handles your information in our privacy policy. I'm not going to read the privacy policy, but I will enter in my email address. 
And I just want to show you the on-screen keyboard here. Sort of the colors of Android, and it sort of looks like an iOS keyboard. So let's just type something in here. And it acts like an iOS keyboard, too. When you press down, you get a larger version of that letter up above. But when you press the Shift key, you actually have a capitalized version or a lowercase version, which is like on Android, which is something I don't like in iOS, and I always mention it. You don't really know if you're in caps or not unless you look at the Shift key, whereas with an Android phone or a Firefox OS phone, you could actually tell when you're in what case. So let me put in my email address, and I'll join you on the other side of that. Okay, now here is the real interesting part. Start your phone tour. Join us for a quick tutorial about your new phone. You can change the language, date and time, and Wi-Fi connection in settings. So I can skip this or start the tour. Of course I want to start the tour because I want to learn more about the Firefox OS. Now it says here, swipe from the right to the left to browse your apps. Let's see what's next here. Swipe from left to right to discover new apps. So that would be your app store. Tap and hold on an icon to delete or move it, very much like Android. Swipe down to access recent notifications, credit information, and settings. So that's like Android, just swiping down from the top. Tap and hold the home button, which is this little circle down here, to browse and close recent apps. Now generally I'm not a fan of home buttons but this looks like a capacitive button, so that's okay in my book. I have a history of hitting home buttons when I don't want to. I've done it on iPhones, on iPads, even on the Samsung Galaxy Note. I'm not a fan of physical home buttons on devices. But on this phone, you just tap and hold that button, and it will bring up what you would consider your multitasking, basically recently used apps. So let's see what's next. That's it. You're ready to enjoy your new phone. So let's go. So here we go. The lock screen, as you can see on the bottom, you have this little bounce here. Just to tell you that, hey, this is, there's something down here. You can go, you can jump straight to the camera from here, or you can unlock the device. On your splash screen here, you see that, uh, I don't know if you can read it there, but uh, it says emergency calls only because there's no SIM in it and it gives you the time and date. And then up top you have a couple of notifications. You can see I have one notification there. And then it shows up top the battery, which is about half charged. It shows that I don't have a SIM in it, and it shows that I do have a wireless connection there. So you can see that up top there. And you have an interesting wallpaper there. So let's pull this up. And we might as well go to the unlock first. We'll get into the camera in a minute. So there we go. We have a home screen here. And if you can see up top, you see somewhat of an indicator. You see an orange, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's an orange line there that tells you, gives you a little indication that there's something to the right of that and there's something to the left of that and you're in the middle of it right now. So let's start with the notification tray, a lot like Android. Now the first thing that I can see here is that it says I have six updates available and then down here it says I have no SIM and then you have some quick controls here. You have your Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth, airplane mode settings, and then I don't know what this one is here. I don't know what that is there and it's not responding. It's actually grayed out. So I'll take care of the updates in a minute. Right now I just want to take a look at the phone some more. So again, we have something to the right and something to the left. So let's see what we have to the right. Actually, interestingly enough, you don't have to swipe from the side like I thought you did, like you do with Ubuntu for phones and, and whatnot. You just swipe over, just like an Android phone where you have different home screens. And these are the apps that are on the phone. You have email, contacts, calendar, marketplace, gallery, usage, here apps, 
AccuWeather, Settings, Notes, Wikipedia, Clock, Music, Video, and Calculator. And then over here, you have apps that you can put on the device, I believe. So you have social apps, games, local, music apps, movies, funny, weather, TV, news, sports, shopping, and more. And it's pulling all this down from the, I guess, Firefox OS servers here, or the Firefox store, uh, for lack of the proper term. But you can scroll through all of these. There's a lot of different apps here. Answers, Astrology, Attractions, Auto, Beauty, Books, Buzz, Celebs, Culture, Daily Deals, Dating, Email, Entertainment, Fashion, Financial News, Financial Services, Fitness, Flights, Kids, Health, Hotels, jobs, lifestyle maps near me, personal communication, personalization, photography, productivity, radio, recipes, reference, restaurants, shoes, soccer, theater, transportation, travel guides, utilities, video games, video, weddings, and that's the list of all the categories of apps that you have available on this phone. And then you can actually just search straight up here for whatever you want as well. Let's hit the home button here and it should bring us back here. And then down here you have a dock. You have the phone dialer. Very cool, and then you dial there. You can make corrections here. And then it looks like you have your add a contact there. And then your contact list is here, which I don't have any contacts in here and back to the dialer, and then that would be all of your calls or your call log. Let's go back here. You have a messenger service here. You have Firefox, of course, so you can, you can search the web. There you go. Very similar to what you would expect or what you probably have used on other mobile if you have Firefox on your mobile device. You have your tabs here. Let's quickly look up something. Let's look up YouTube. It's doing a Google search. Let's hit YouTube here. And of course, this is running off of Wi Fi. And you know what? For a single core, one gigahertz processor, this thing is pretty snappy. And that's a testament to the lightweight OS that it's running. I haven't really taxed it yet, but just by, you know, using it for the limited time that you've seen me, because that's the only time I've actually used it so far, it seems very usable. The next selection here looks like some sort of music app. No, that's the camera app, actually. Camera would like to know your location. Eh, not right now. So there we go. Take a picture of my hand here. Let me see what it does here. I'm just trying to toggle. I don't know what that does here. But there we go. Picture. And you can make a video on here if you want. Recording video. Hello. And then what do we have here? And that's the gallery. All right. What else do we have here? The next selection here is plug in headset FM radio. So you just use the, the uh, included headset here. And this phone has an FM radio in it, which is actually pretty cool if you want to take it to the gym or something like that. And I assume you can add more apps down here. I'm long pressing down here. I don't know if you can add more apps. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's put um, calculator app. Long press here and see if I can put it down here on the dock. Yes, I can. So you can put things in the dock. You can't, it looks like you, well, let's see if we can move. No, you can, you can move the, uh, the apps that were included down there on the dock if you'd like and fully customize your experience. So again, you just long press and then place, place it down on the dock down here. I don't think you can actually put it on the home screen here, but let's see if we can do that. Um, Let's do the calculator, long press, and hmm. 
I don't think you can actually. So I don't know exactly what the home screen is here. If you can put anything on the home screen, but I'm going to get more use on this device and I'll, you know, report back to you if I find out anything interesting. This is just a quick overview on the device. So let's put it back to sleep, bring it back up so we can get the lock screen here and let's go straight into the camera app. There we go. So that's the ZTE Open. There'll be a link at the end of this video where you can check out other videos I've done on this device. And that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.